I just made a video about this idea of the brain as being uh, a series of swarms or a series of floods or a series of, or a fl like a flock of birds. And what got me thinking about that, which I'd actually forgotten about when I started talking, was uh, was really to do with um, metaphor and language and thought, actually, and the relationship between metaphor and language and thought. Uh, and it's really to do with, you know, what 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 is at work in our minds when we think about a particular concept? Uh, because certainly when I think of a concept like up, which is one of the concepts I've been thinking of recently, you know, verticality, the significance of the vertical dimension and movements in an upward direction, uh, you know, what's going on with that? And I guess where I'm what I'm thinking about with that is that um, whenever we think about a concept like verticality, upness, uh, it's never a singular, tightly focused, unitary concept that we think about, at least I don't. When I think about the word up, or I use the word up in a sentence, or I talk about my feelings being up, or I talk about high performance cars, or I talk about um, higher levels of understanding, and anything to do with the vertical dimension, I can kind of feel the, uh, behind the scenes a whole series of other kinds of um, understandings of, of being invoked. I guess, it's, I guess what, I'm kind of talking about associations, but I'm not sure associations really captures it. Associations uh, would suggest a kind of, uh, like a, I'm just looking at the way I imagine it at least, is a kind of spider diagram, a, a mind map in my, in the hardware of my brain really, where I've got this idea of up and all these other associative experiences to do with, you know, where the light is or to do with resistance to gravity, of all these other things. Um, all these uh, things related to the spider diagram. But I'm not sure that that's not really what I'm talking about at all, really. I'm really thinking about it as a set of concrete experiences, but also kind of eidetic. Is this a word? Eidetic invariant? The kind of experiences that are common to lots and lots of... Uh, the features are common to lots and lots of different experiences. Uh, so I'm imagining those kinds of it's not that there's a central theme called up with lots of uh, uh, ideas connected to it. It's more that there's a lot of experiences I've had to do with upness, perceptual experiences, embodied experiences, uh, entirely phenomenologically grounded experiences. Uh, and when that swarm of thinking that I have uh, swarms towards this concept of up, whilst most of those birds or bees or locusts or most of that water uh, may well be poring over the particular application that I'm interested in, the particular use of the word up that I might be using in a sentence or a thought. There's lots and lots of birds, locusts, bees and water flooding down the side streets and uh, flitting across the trees to do with other applications really.